In this video today, we are going to be taking this cardboard design and putting it into a computer so we can then CNC cut it. Uh, this template is actually the bracket for this Bronco tube bumper over here. We're in the middle of shooting this tube bumper video and figured we would maybe do a standalone of how to take a CAD like this and put it in a CAD like that so then you can cut it over there. And we're basically ready to start drawing this in the computer, uh, but I'm not the guy to be drawing this. So Jonathan here is going to hand the camera over to me. And Jonathan right here is the computer whiz. So he's all ready to go. Hit the start button on that guy. Right now he's just drawing a one inch mark to get a scale. Snap a quick little shot. Take a picture, plug her into the computer. So quiet. You're not making any noise. No noise at all. <laughs> Here's Fusion. We're going to insert a canvas. Put that in there like that. And then we'll come back into our canvas, come over here and hit calibrate. <laughs> so here's our one inch mark right there. So we're gonna put two points right there and tell Fusion that is now one inch. Now we have that scaled. So we're gonna create the sketch on this plane. We're gonna start with some points. This is where I'm gonna reference our straight lines to, I'm gonna reference these arcs. We will come back to the paper template to verify some of these distances as well. That'll ensure that when we cut it, it should be right the first time. Just connecting the dots at this point. I'm just basically drawing straight lines in between the points that we originally dropped in there. We'll do three point arc tool. We'll grab that point, this point, and then set it in here. We'll come back and dimension that here shortly so we know exactly what that radius is. Um, next is going to be these circles. So it's actually that is our start point on this one. Okay, so we we'll do a center circle. For that one, we will come to the center circle. Um, then we're also going to do a two point circle because this bumper bracket has has a right and a left. So we're gonna leave those sketch entities in there. This one here, I'm gonna switch over to some construction lines because this hole is a little bit bigger than the half inch hole that we're using. And so just gonna kind of make a center point there, kind of give me a better reference to drop this circle in place. And we only want this to be around a half an inch. So this is where we're starting to make this thing be all the right number. So now we'll come up with the inspect tool. Verify some numbers. So that's saying just around four and a half inches, right around four and a half inches. I'm gonna say this is looking pretty good. So we're gonna finish the sketch. We need the bracket with the lower most hole in it, which is this guy. Create a sketch. We're gonna create it on this face here. All we need to do is finish that sketch. Just redefine the sketch plane. That gives us all of our points there. Now we're gonna rename this sketch. So now we have that done. And we can go ahead, right click that sketch, click save as DXF. Um, sheet cam is what I like to use for this. As we want bumper bracket there, right scale, right spot on the table there. All that looks pretty good. We're going to plasma cut. We're doing this out a quarter inch. So I'm gonna use my 250 steel, my small circles rule is on. I like my lead-ins. We're gonna do that. Now we can come in, verify all that looks good. We got start point, start point, start point, finish it out. So now we'll 
post process this. All right, we are now ready to go connect to the CNC. And 11 minutes, looking good. Now it's trying to figure out how this is going to work. And since we already have this template, this kind of gives us a nice thing where I think that right there is some pretty good material usage. Program origin. Now dry run. It'll be cutting somewhere around there when it's ready to cut. Dry run is done. Now we're ready to cut. Pull the pointer off. Put our little splash guard on there. We can just hit the go button from right here. Ready to start cutting. And our time, 17 minutes. There's one part, and so 18 minutes to get one part done. Now, the rest of the parts would be much easier. Got our bracket cut out, and now it's time to see how our template actually fares on this. It looks like everything came out real nice, just, um, you know, little, little off on this uh, tube right here. Uh, quick interpretation of being able to take your cardboard design and turning it into a CNC cut bracket. Now, this is actually part of a, another video series, series that we are doing, working on our Bronco over here. So make sure to, if you like this video, go check out the other ones where we're doing, where we actually take this bracket, this bracket, and we make a bumper with it. I. Uh, that video will be linked somewhere around here. So uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, make sure to like it if you like it. Add a comment if you have any feedback or questions. And uh, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.